Hello and welcome to my channel. I am an ex-Muslim from Southeast Asia and this is my story. In this video, I want to talk about why the apostasy law and compulsion to stay in Islam is a very bad thing for the Muslim community. But before that, let us take a look at the main and secondary sources. In the Quran, Surah An Nisa, verse 89, it said, They wish you would disbelieve as they have disbelieved, so you may all be alike. So do not take them as allies unless they emigrate in the cause of Allah. But if they turn away, then seize them and kill them wherever you find them, and do not take any of them as allies or helpers. This verse is clearly instructing the Muslims to kill disbelievers or apostates. In the authentic hadith, it gets a whole lot simpler and straightforward. Narrated by Sunan ibn Majah, hadith number 1952, it said that the Messenger of Allah, that is Muhammad, said whoever changes his religion, execute him. So, any Muslim who decides not to believe in Islam anymore, are ordered to be killed based on these two authentic sources. Due to this, ex-Muslims in Islamic countries have a few choices. First, we could announce our apostasy to the government and demand that they recognize us as ex-Muslim. This is, obviously, very stupid move, as many have tried and they are subjected to brutal court proceedings, detained against their will for Akita treatment, and in some places, they are executed. Second, ex-Muslims could migrate to a more free country, like the UK, Europe or the United States. But, many is unable to do so, as a person requires work permit, or has to apply for permanent resident status and it cost a lot of money. Third, ex-Muslims stay in the Islamic country, but remain closeted. We hide our apostasy and live our daily lives as normal. But in our hearts, we stay adamant, disbelieving in Allah, Muhammad and the whole of Islam. I chose the third option. But due to this, as I live among the Muslims, sometimes I had no choice but to join in prayer. As I am quite old at 46 years old, most of the time, the congregations chose me as their imam. For those who do not know, an imam is the one who leads a prayer. So there I was, an ex-Muslim atheist, leading a prayer for about 30 to 40 Muslims in a mosque. Isn't this a great insult for Muslims themselves? This is what I am saying in the beginning of the video. Imagine I am leading a prayer, reciting Allah is a cunt silently when it is daytime prayer. And all of the Muslims thought I was reciting Fatiha. What I did probably nullify all of the Muslims' prayers. So I ask to Muslims listening to this video, what do you think? Shouldn't Islam allow us to leave Islam publicly, and freely, so that things such as that will not occur to you? Let us leave the religion in peace, then perhaps we will not be so vocal, so insulting, and so critical of Islam. And I ask to Muslims listening to this video, do you not know that Islam is the only religion today that punished people for apostasy? Many Muslims claim that there is no compulsion in Islam, but what you actually do is the opposite. You force people to follow your religion. Do you realize what you are doing only makes people hate your religion even more? That's all for now. Thanks for listening to my video. If you like to hear more of my story and critics, please like, share and subscribe. Have a nice day.